Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the new fragrance from Atrium Fragrances, Mr. Romantic. This is the new fragrance that was just released by Omar over at the YouTube channel School of Scent. And he very kindly sent me a bottle to try, so I wanted to share my thoughts with you guys. Of course, I always want to do my best to help support all of the creators in our community, so let's get into this review. So this fragrance here is the response to his previous release, which was called Mr. Fragrant. This is what the bottle looks like. This has the same kind of design as Mr. Fragrant as well. It's just this very sleek, you can see the reflection on here, here. matte black bottle which I really enjoy kind of has some old-school vibes as well it's a very simple design and it just looks good sitting on your shelf I love the name too you guys know I say it all the time sometimes I am attracted to a fragrance just based on the packaging based on the name I'm human <laughs> and a woman on top of that and I just I get I don't want to say an emotional connection to things but if something has a great name I want to try it at least so I really like the name Mr. Romantic it's something that would pique my interest if I saw it just at the store just something named Mr. Romantic so this is an amber woody musky aromatic gourmand fragrance this is what the sprayer looks like which like I said is coming after his previous release Mr. Fragrant so this opens with chamomile labdanum and cardamom with a mid of some lavender a little bit of a floral with neroli and amber and a base of musk vanilla and sandalwood so my first thought when I smell this is I think this is a unisex scent I wouldn't say that this is something that is exclusively for men. I think this is a very unisex scent. This is something that I would like to wear as well. You get those sweet gourmand notes right from the get-go, this kind of like matcha tea vibe, but also kind of has a blue feeling as well, like a classic blue fragrance DNA. Definitely has a very like mainstream feel to it as well. Very mass appealing, something that almost everyone on this planet will gravitate towards. Really just something for the masses to love. But it starts to change pretty quickly after the first spray. As it dries, this very spicy, smooth cardamom starts to come out a little bit more. And this lavender kind of brings a very subtle freshness. Not overly green, but it's definitely there. I think that the main accords of this fragrance, what I get the most out of this is just this musky vanilla with this touch of like a tea chamomile vibe with that cardamom as well, that spicy cardamom. If you are a cardamom lover, you're going to love this fragrance. But the tea feeling kind of runs through the background. It kind of, in the opening, it's more dominant, but then it starts to kind of like go to the back a little as it dries. I think it's definitely a scent that would be perfect for a date night. I really think that any woman would be impressed and attracted to this type of scent profile. I say it all the time, women love gourmet gourmand leaning scents, sweet gourmands on men. It's very, very sexy. The only thing that I wish would be incorporated into this scent to just make it like a dream scent for me is if the addition of like a nice rose was added because with the name like Mr. Romantic, I think there's nothing more romantic than rose. And that is really my only kind of like nitpicky comment about this scent because to me smelling this, it smells like it's missing something and that something is i think that rose it needs for me in my personal taste i think this fragrance just it really just needs an addition of more florals because as is it's very sweet very gourmand and that's fine that's beautiful i love that but i really feel like it needs more florals, more rose specifically to kind of give it more elegance, something that you want to wear like outside of the bedroom i think that this scent is something you could wear on a date night some sort of occasion, but I think that if it had that rose element, it would be even more luxurious, even more elegant, and even more impressive. But that aside, I do enjoy the scent. I think it's very, very pretty, very inviting. And the website claims that you will get eight hours of performance on this scent with a soft to medium projection. And I can see that being true. I haven't tested it fully yet but I feel like this is a fragrance that's going to have some good lasting power. And what I appreciate too is that I think it's priced very fairly. It's priced very appropriately. You can get 100 ml on their website. I think it was for $117 and they have 
some different deals for bundling. If you want to try other fragrances as well, you get some discounts. I think that this is like everything that, you know, S, something like S Boy should have been. So thank you, Omar, for sending me this beautiful bottle. It's really a great scent. I really enjoy it and I am very excited to try to smell it on a man. And once again, if you're interested in trying the fragrance, you'll be, of course, supporting not only our community, but the creators in it as well, all while smelling totally awesome and i'm very excited to see what omar puts out in the future school of scent it's a great channel and now i'm curious to try his other releases as well i see that he just put out a new kind of tropical mango scent that seems very interesting beautiful scent hats off to you omar great job i think that mr romantic is a win for me i really enjoy the scent so so if you guys are interested i'll leave the link down in the description if you'd like to check it out to omar's channel and once again thank you guys so much for being here with me leave a comment below if you've tried mr romantic what are your thoughts? I would love to know. What do you think about the School of Scent YouTube channel as well? Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.